this is Tara with Richter Publishing. We are so happy to be here at the Florida Parent Teacher Conference uh, this summer in 2021. Uh, what we have offering for you guys is actually programs that we have created around our books. So just to give you a little background information about Richter Publishing, um, we are a local publishing house located in Seminole, Florida. We have been in business for about 10 years and we have published over a hundred different titles. So basically the way that our programs work can buy a certain quantity of books and get a discount um, based on how many books you know that you get like at a wholesale level. Tis the season of pirates. Gasparilla is just around the corner, which means the pirates are taking center stage. And here to tell us about a new book showcasing how children can learn about Tampa Bay's rich pirate history are Tara Richter and Marissa Beats. Welcome to the show. And you're not alone. We have no. two pirates and Camden and Juliet, right? Yes, <laughs> we do. Which I will say, uh, having fun with the camera, of course, as young ones like to do, but also coloring because one of the books we're talking about is a coloring book, right, Tara? It is, yeah. So we just actually came out with two books for Gasparilla. And this one is a coloring book for ages three to five that Marissa actually wrote the short story for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to tell you, this even just from afar and seeing them as they color, this looks like a big time coloring book. I love yes. it. Good job to you. Talk about being able though. Tara, what's the other <laughs> book about? So the other book is actually um, written by Lisa Ballard and this is a chapter book that's for ages seven to 10. So this is a longer story that goes into the legend of Jose Gaspar, why he became a pirate and also why we celebrate every year for Gasparilla. I was gonna ask, so you dove into the actual history of it because that again, if people are new here, that is what Gasparilla is based mm -hmm. off of. This legend, right? It is, exactly. And then we even have maps that go into the areas of Florida and why some of the islands got their names. I love that. Yeah. A new children's book is teaching kids about entrepreneurial skills through friendship and real life lessons. I love this. The author, Brittany Kimpink, joins us along with a couple of friends this morning with a demo of what this book is all about. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? You excited to be here today? Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself and why for this particular, this is your first children's book, but you pack a lot in here. Yeah, so my book is called Three Friends Lime Aid, and the inspiration came from my own kids. Mm -hmm. So I teach at a small local college. I teach microeconomics, strategic management, and project management. And we're always going and looking for books with different concepts, and I was surprised that I didn't see a lot on business. So that's where the concepts came from. So I'm assuming because it's Lime Aid in the title that they're making a lime, is it a Lime Aid or a Lemonade? Yes, or it's a, a Lime Aid, it could be Lemonade, it okay. could be anything you want. Oh. 